So we finished reading Harold and the Purple Crayon. And you'll remember that Harold drew a city full of windows. Some of the windows are squares. Some of the windows are rectangles. Some are taller and bigger and some are smaller. Some of the squares have two lines inside and some of them have one line inside. We're going to draw a building with windows. So before we start, we'll need crayons but not quite yet. Let's practice drawing some lines. To make a square, we go across and down and back and up. Let's do it again. Do it with me with your finger. Across and down and back and up. And to do a rectangle, draw a rectangle, we go short, long, short, long. Can we do that again? Short, long, short, long. Sometimes we do rectangles the other direction. Long, short, long, short. So we're going to use the square across and down and back and up and the rectangle long, short, long, short, or long, short, long, short, this way, to make a building with windows and a door. And we're going to add people in the windows. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start drawing my building. I'm choosing this color because I think it will show up well. My favorite color is red, but crayons don't really show up well in red, so I'm going to use this orange one instead, but you can choose the color you want. We're going to start by drawing a door. We're going to make a rectangle, so we're going to go long, short, long, and the short side's right on the paper, so we don't, right on the edge of the paper, so we don't need to draw it. Let's add some windows now. You could trace something, like if you have a lid, you could trace the lid and make a square window. It's mostly square, it's got a little bit of round on the edges. Or you can draw them yourself. I'm gonna do a square here. Across and down, across and up. I'm gonna make some long windows here. So I'll go long, short, long, short, long, short, long, short. Up here I'm going to put three squares across and down, across and up, across and down, across and up, across and down, across and up. I'm going to make these a little thicker so they show up better. So I just color right on top of my line to make it a little thicker so it shows up better. So now I have my building and it has windows. And it's time to add some faces inside. I think I'm gonna put me in this window up here. Get my brown crayon for my face. And I'll push it harder for my hair. I need ears and a neck. Here's my arm. I'm waving to you. I need to do eyes, ovals like we did last time. I have green eyes. I'll do this part green. And my nose. And I'll use this pink one for my smile. And the hair that goes down here. And my skin tone is light brown. Oh, I forgot my glasses again. Can't see without those. Here we go. Oh, that looks better. Okay, right here I think I'm going to do a snake because it's a long window. Oh, I didn't finish making this one thicker. I 
going to make a wavy line like this. And then underneath, I'm going to make another wavy line. Here's the head. It has a red tongue. And it's going to have, let's see, purple spots. It needs an eye. Another eye is going to be looking at us. And now I'm going to color around my purple spots with my green so I can really see that snake. Can you see how when I color it in all the way, I can see it much better than when I don't color in. I'm going to try and keep inside my lines. I'm going to come back along the edges and fill in. There we go. Oh, I think right here I'm going to do a three-headed alien. And it's going to have an antenna on each. I'm going to give it, let's see, I think orange. No, orange won't show up on my orange paper. Let's try blue eyes and mouth. I'm going to color in the heads light green. And some necks. And they have one body. So here's that one body with the three heads. I think up here I'm going to put a cat. Circle for the head. Triangles for the ears. Here's its body. I think the cat will have green eyes too. And a pink nose. And whiskers. Color in the face around my eyes. Well, that's a little tricky, isn't it, to go around? Color in my ears. Okay, I think down here I'm going to make a robot. I'm going to use a square for the head and a rectangle for the body. And its arm is going to face up. Color it in the arm. Oh, look, I can make with the black one. I'm going to make some lines where it bends. I'm going to give it a claw like this. It needs some eyes, a mouth. I'm going to give it some buttons. And color it in gray because it's metal. There we go. Uh oh, I forgot the other arm. Draw the other arm. I'll give it some dark lines where the elbow bends. There we go. That looks better. I think on the door, I'm going to write, Welcome, W-E-L-C-O-M-E. -E. I make this window thicker around my robot. My door thicker. This window thicker. Huh, how about a doorbell? And a doorknob! Make a dog. Circle for the head. Ears. Body. Give the dog black eyes, a black nose, and a red tongue. Mm, I could give it a black spot on its head, and a black spot on its body. Color it in all the way. There we go. And there is my building with windows. This is where we need to draw a picture of you. Can you draw a picture of you in one of the windows? Have fun.